The world of science lost a man even his Nobel Prize winning colleagues called a giant among them. Charles Towns died Tuesday at the age of 99, more than half a century after winning a Nobel Prize for inventing the laser. The widespread use of Towns' invention is hard to quantify. The laser is to modern technology what recorded audio was to telecommunications or the steam engine to the Industrial Revolution. The focused beams of light see uses as varied as the common barcode scanner to military weapons for taking down small drones at long distances. Their use is so ingrained in our vocabulary, many don't realize laser is an acronym, meaning light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation. Oh, and they also make for some very cool experiments. Lasers, unlike normal white light with jumbled wavelengths, are narrow beams of light with a single wavelength formed when electrons go into an excited state. Towns says his laser revelation came while sitting on a park bench in 1951. He was head of a Navy committee tasked with figuring out how to decrease wavelengths so they could be better used in communications. The problem was anything making short wavelengths wasn't very powerful, and atoms typically absorb more energy than they give off. He has time and again described the moment the proverbial light went off as he sat on that bench. Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, I thought, hey, this is the way to do it. Oh, yes, we can do it from molecules. Uh, we get molecules in the right kind of state, and that can happen. Ah, and it was exciting. The discovery eventually led to the 1964 Nobel Prize for Physics. The Los Angeles Times noted Towns had a rare mindset for such a renowned scientist. Towns and Mother Teresa were the only two people ever to receive both a Nobel Prize and a Templeton Prize, an award for spiritual contributions. To Towns, science was the pursuit of understanding about the order of the universe, religion the pursuit of understanding and acceptance of the meaning of the universe. Towns was a professor emeritus for the University of California, Berkeley. He was 99. Doing physics is good fun. Explore, explore, explore. That's what science is, is exploration, finding out new things. So have a good time with it.